Hard to believe tomorrow is the 20th anniversary of the shootings at Columbine High School in Colorado. We're talking about 12 students, mm -hmm. one teacher killed by two students who then took their own lives. You know, for many of us, it was a day that we will never forget. And for Patrick Ireland, it was a day that forever changed his life. Hi. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you. Really cool that we're still friends and close together nice and you. still hang out. What's up, brother? How goes it? I'm good, how are you? Good. It just seems like just a blur of how quick it's gone by. And like, I was 17 at the time. The way that I think back about it is honestly a sense of, of pride and, and hope, just knowing that everything that we went through and what we survived, and that picture or that video or that view, you know, essentially of me, you know, student fighting for their life, trying to get out, and ultimately that being a, a sense of uh, hope and a hopefully what, what could be conveyed as, you know, a beacon of light and strength and, and courage. That's probably the biggest concern that I have is that, um, you know, I don't want her to feel, you know, fearful of going to school because we had such a great experience growing up in this community in, in elementary school through high school. We're not gonna let you know the events of that day define us and that's not gonna be you know, negative impact for the rest of our life. By the way, Patrick and his classmates will attend a remembrance ceremony. It's going to happen tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Then they're going to spend the rest of the day volunteering for projects around the community to give back. Oh, what a great way to remember that day.